Salut le peuple <rire> Salut le peuple! I am, oh my god, I am back. I know, it's been almost a year. Honestly, I don't know how this happened, but <laughs> it happened. I am so happy to be back. I've missed you guys. If I could just take y'all right now and hug you, I would. I missed being on YouTube. Oh my goodness. I kind of forgot how to do this, but hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Ermanita. If you've been following me for this whole time, thank you for still being here. I love you so much. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. This is a place for beauty, lifestyle, culture, language, honestly, anything that makes me me. Do not forget to press the bell notification to know every time I drop a new video and obviously to subscribe to my channel. How are you guys doing? Please like let me know in the comments hope each and every one of you have been well so many good things happen so much content that I have I have like vlogs coming up I went to the UK I just celebrated my cousin getting married last weekend in Connecticut all of those are prepared but I thought it would be weird to just come back on here and you know put out the content without telling you guys a bit where I've been so we have so much catching up to do so let's just get right into it I've been doing amazing oh my goodness so many things have happened I don't even know where to start my hair this is her now she is growing she is flourishing honestly I'm just loving the natural hair life I did get a question on Instagram about my hair so I'll answer it right away me how often do I wash my hair and do I still wash it even when it's braided I wash my hair every seven to ten days more than that dandruff dryness like I can't do it I think it's just good for my hair since it's very dry I wash it in twists different sections I haven't had braids in a while but um, if I were to have braids yes I would like focus on the scalp and wash them the past eight nine months what I've been doing oh my goodness I've been working hard I've been working very hard. One of the main things I've been working on is my brand, so myself, on Instagram. Oh my god, it's been quite a journey. I literally just hit 20k uh, last week, and that's crazy considering the amount that I had when during my last video nine months ago. I think I was around maybe 3,000, 4,000. I'll post a screenshot, but I've been trying really hard on Instagram, which is honestly one of the reasons why I left YouTube. It wasn't intentional, but it was really hard for me to see um, the numbers. Granted, you do it because you love it, but when you put in effort, you film so many parts of your life, you edit, and then you post and you don't really see the numbers adding up, it kind of takes a toll on you, so I thought I would just take a break. I've had so many opportunities, like I could take a whole video to talk about influencing and everything I've been doing, but I've received so many opportunities with so many brands, partnerships, like my biggest one right now is a partnership with The Bay, which is awesome. I get to be part of their style collective, pushing out content for a total of six months. I get to shop there and show you guys my favorite items and that's just been really fun so that's been um, Instagram and I'm glad to say that it's another source of income for me which is really really cool that's what I wanted you know I'm um, also maybe later on I could go into details but I'm also officially a businesswoman I've just launched you know myself in the business world and things have been going very well uh, by the grace of God your girl got her first car Ooh, I can show you guys a picture of my beautiful Vivi. I know my brother hates the name, but I don't care. My beautiful Vivi right here. Um, I think it's been two months now. I don't know. I've just been working, 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 you know, typical content creation, my day job, ministry. Talking about ministry, that's been going very, very well. Um, my home church, campus rush, like I've just been so grateful for all the things that I've been learning, the pastors that have been pouring into me, all the connections that I've made. It's been a really, really good year and I'm really grateful, which ties into another question that I received by someone. Comment est-ce que tu as fait pour balancer ta vie personnelle et ton ministère? So how do I balance my personal life and ministry? Honestly, uh, I'm gonna be very honest, it's not easy and Let's say for the, well now it's good, but before like maybe in the last month or last month and a half, almost two months, I was really struggling. I don't know what was happening, but I was having just a really hard time connecting and it's a really interesting but tough place to be um, when you're in ministry and especially with the kind of ministry that I mainly do, which is 
worship. So, you know, to be leading worship in front of people and pouring out so much and then struggling in your personal life, not because I was neglecting it, but I was just having a hard time to connect. That was very difficult, but, you know, I prayed and with the, like, right events and me really being desperate and asking God to help me and to give me the strength to, you know, just find that fire again. He gave it to me. So I think it's just a question of being intentional. One of my pastors would say, who would you be if they told you? You couldn't ever leave worship ever again you know i think it's always remembering that first and foremost before any kind of ministry you are a child of god first and you are a worshiper and your duty is to just worship god in spirit and truth and to make time with the father and to be intentional with the time that you spend with him so that's the only advice i could give honestly i'm really not perfect when it comes to my walk with god and the balance between both but i've also learned to um, put boundaries i really loved it but i was doing a bit too much and it kind of caused me to burn out with juggling ministry and everything else in my personal life so i think that you know you don't need to be in front to make a difference you don't need to be in front to you know commune with god or make sure that god hears you so if at one point it's too much take like some personal time one-on-one -on -one when god is could talk to your leaders say hey i need a little break i'll be back soon i think that's perfectly fine so, my goodness i did not want this video to be long but i think it'll be kind of long because i have so many things to share with you guys now my personal life oh my goodness so much has happened oh my goodness y'all it was i went through the ghettos of the ghettos and now i'm in a good place but there was a lot going on someone did ask me how i'm doing mentally may god continue to bless you thank you so much mentally i'm doing very very well by the grace of god i am so happy i feel like i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be doing exactly what i'm supposed to be sounds a bit corny but i do think that god is proud of me i've been doing very very well to be honest with you in those first few months your girl was going through it um <laughs> i was going through a heartbreak and um yeah that was bad that was really bad i think that answers the question what has been the hardest thing to deal with these past few months heartbreak is never fun and those times like leading closer to god and pushing closer to God I think it's good you know reevaluate certain decisions that I made maybe I should have set my boundaries this way or I spoke up about this or realized sooner that this might have not been the best situation for me but honestly at the end of the day that's how you learn and I've learned a lot from going through that and I'm really happy that I did go through what I went through because it made me a stronger person I know what I want now the things that I would accept the things that I would not accept but aside from that I've just been doing great I've been spending a lot of time with my family which I just love more than anything in this world I like to go take a walk go sit by the water I love love nature I think it's just so calming so that's what I would do I would paint uh, and no just focus on myself uh, I did not want this to be too long but I just want to give you guys a little you know a little update on where I've been if you guys have any questions or requests in terms of the kind of content that you guys would like to see moving forward please talk to me in the comments interact with this video if you've missed me let me know because you guys have been harassing me on Instagram so if you guys have been harassing me and I don't see you guys interacting with this I might just take another 10 month break okay kidding but my grandma's here so I'll be doing something with her if you're still here thank you for watching I have missed you guys so much I forgot what my outro is but thank you for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share and tell a friend to tell a friend that I'm back on YouTube so see you guys next time